let's talk about environment and green power and all those fun kinds of things. Um, there has been uh, some activity um, to have Gold Butte designated as a national conservation area uh, with wilderness. Shelley Berkeley has, as a congresswoman, has submitted a letter to President Obama asking that Gold Butte be considered a national monument. On the other side of that coin, there are a lot of people that want that area completely left alone by everybody except the locals. Um, what are your thoughts about the Gold Butte issue? Well, first and foremost, when I first started hearing about the Gold Butte issue and I first started getting into the issues of Mesquite, I came to the realization that while that is a great subject of conversation, that is mostly something that has to be dealt with at the federal level. Okay. So at the local level, I don't think there's not much that I can do myself. Uh, hopefully one day if I proceed in my political career, maybe one day I can actually be in a position where I can actually say, hey, you know what, this is what we should be doing. With that being said, I think that, you know, we have to be pragmatic about everything that's going on. Okay. And why should we be pragmatic about everything that we, that's going on? Is because, once again, we're experiencing some hard financial and economic times. And Mesquite is not, you know, alone uh, in that, you know, in that situation. Mesquite, like every other city and every other municipality in the state, they're going through a lot of financial difficulties. Right. So I think that if you look at it from a very pragmatic way, I believe that we can probably do both. We can keep the area nice and pristine, while we can also probably give access to individuals, and you know we can start charging. We can start creating some form of revenue for the city of Mesquite. Uh, the fact of the matter is that I personally enjoy the outdoors. I enjoy every minute of it. Uh, I'm one of those that takes advantage of the outdoors. And having grown up in New York City and now oh. calling Nevada home for the last 14 years, I love it. I mean, I, I just love to go out there and just like, I mean, I get lost in it. But you know what? Let's be pragmatic about it. Let's be practical about it. I mean, they're doing it with the, uh, with the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge revenue coming in for the Indian reservations that actually run the, you know, the Grand Canyon. Maybe we can actually reach out to them. Maybe we can learn something from the way that they, are, you know, they operate, their natural resources and what they have out there. And maybe go, you know, go Butte should, should probably do the same thing. And once again, that is an issue that is not for me to decide because that's more of a federal issue than it is a state issue at this point. Okay, well, there's some people who say um, that the reason the push is on to create some kind of designation for Gold Butte is because um, there is a, a, an agreement of, of sorts um, that for every acre that's designated conservation area, um, some type of conservation area, that that frees up one more acre in the Las Vegas metro area that they can build on. And so some people say that the reason the push is on to create the conservation area for Gold Butte is because that would be an offset for Las Vegas. So while Las Vegas is going to continue growing, it's going to put a, a it's going to stifle the Gold Butte area. Not that we're going out there and, and build, but that's the reason for the push for the designation is that one for one offset that benefits Las Vegas Metro without any benefit to Mesquite. Well, you know, once again, it's, it's a federal issue. It is something that, as you said, Congresswoman Shelley Berkeley uh, has been pushing. She's been working on it. So I don't want to take anything away from whatever, you know, our federal le legislators are doing at this time. But I can tell you this much. If elected, and if, you know, if Mesquite decides that it's time for them to also bring some change to the city of Mesquite, if, they, if they're looking for someone new, if they're looking for some fresh ideas, you know what? I'll be more than glad to take on that issue. I'll be more than glad to sit down with the people of Mesquite and eventually work for what is best for you here in the city of Mesquite. 
Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if we all sit down, if we all come to the table, I'm pretty sure that we can find some common grounds where we can all benefit. Okay. Uh, and I'm leaving that, of course, to the people of the city of Mesquite on November 6th. <laughs> okay. They have that choice. <laughs>